they started on the hot top and now they're here, you know? Dreams come true. What's up guys? Happy 2022! It finally got here. Uh, hopefully it's gonna be a good one. You know, we, we've been, I think we all need a good year. I know I do, so, you know, hoping for that. So yeah, welcome to 2022. Got some cool things I wanna get done today. One, I'm gonna go on a little run real quick, cause that's one of my New Year's resolutions, which I'll kinda talk about in a little bit. Two, I wanna go get some coffee at my buddy's shop. I think it's gonna be super sweet. Haven't been there yet, wanna check it out. Three, I got a new roaster that I'm gonna be showing you. It's a super cool little roaster. It's a, well, we'll just leave it at that. Like all YouTube videos, you know, you kinda get the meat towards the end, you know? That's just how these things kinda work, so. Anyway, run first, then coffee, New Year's resolutions. I got three of them I'm gonna be sharing with you. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go get it. Jeez, we. It's already getting cold out. You know what's funny about Louisiana? It's like, it's already January 2nd and, and we haven't even got below freezing yet, you know? So anyway, I'm gonna head out to my buddies real quick. We're gonna get some coffee. So my buddy Devin and his friend, they opened up a coffee shop here a while back. Uh, but I met these dudes in a garage roasting on a hot top back in the day, around 2018. So it's one of them things that's super cool to see where they were at and then now to go see what they created. You know, so I haven't been there yet. My first time going to their roastery cafe. So yeah, I'm gonna go check it out. I don't think Devin's gonna be there. I think he's gonna be there later in the day, but I have to go right now. So, you know, such is life. So anyway, let's go check out the shop. Hey, are you digging in? Or you on the surface? With the all you got, do you serve it out to you out of service? All right, so before we go in, I want to fill you in on my first New Year's resolution. It's kind of my goal, objective, whatever you want to call it. My first New Year's resolution is I want to complete the build out of my roastery. I'm actively working on this one now. I've actually spent the last, I don't know, couple weeks just really diving into the business plan portion of it. If I can have it open by the end of the year, that, I mean, that's going to be ideal. That's, that's, that's what I'm hoping for. That's what I want. But I'm a realist. And if I'm just kind of like finishing up the last few things and it opens in 2023 sometime in the beginning, you know, I'll consider that a win too. I'm not I'm not opposed to it per se. Anyway, we're about to walk into Luma Coffee Roast. I'm gonna give me a little cup of coffee real quick. I'll talk to you in a second. Let's go look at it. You can wait and see. Make back some the lottery. A jump in, teeth and skin. Grind it out with your whole damn body. second news resolution is I want to run a thousand miles in 2022. I know it sounds like a lot, but it's only like 2.7 miles a day. I run around 20 miles a week, so it's doable. Also, I don't know if I've told y'all, I'm doing a 50K Ultra in May with my buddy CJ. So anyway, cool little shop, dude. I mean, if you look at it, Rose is right there in the background as soon as you come in the door. I mean, it's a beautiful place, dude. They've done a lot with it. The lighting, the colors, the design, the, I mean, Dude, the furniture, everything, dude. I mean, they really put some thought and detail into everything. I love that. I love that about a shop. I love that about like a place where you go in and it used to be an old drugstore, you know? So cool. And they started on a hot top and now they're here, you know? Dreams come true. Yeah, what a super cool shop. Awesome shop, Devin. Y'all did a killer job on that one. Woo! Dude, I mean the detail. Just the detail and everything they did. I love it. Obviously, I'm kind of a different style of a person and stuff like that, but it is cool just to see what somebody can do with an old building. I mean, this is the outside of it, basically. Just an old drugstore, you know? And like, they took their passion, they took their creativity, and they just ran wild with it. And I think that's the coolest thing. So now we're gonna head back. I'm gonna show you all my roaster I just got. I'm super proud of it. Like, it's one of them things, like, I think it's gonna help me learn and educate myself a lot more 
on just coffee, coffee in general, you know, like I want to get better. It's kind of, it's not really one of my resolutions for 2022, but dude, I want to cup coffee and just get to be a master of tasting coffee. Guys, how about that shop? That shop is sick. Also, afterwards, I spoke with Devin, and he said if we wanted to do a roast along with him, he would do that. So, if you want to see like a roast along on their Ambex, I think that'd be super cool. Um, something you want to see, something you want to check out, let me know in the comments. If something that y'all want to do, we'll make it happen. So, real quick, before I get into this thing, I want to open it too. Believe me, it's it's one of the things like we're gonna hold off for a second. I'm gonna tell you my third New Year's resolution. I want to get to 20,000 subscribers on YouTube. And I know everybody says, you know, numbers aren't always the most important thing. And I, I get that. And I, I agree to some extent. But numbers are important. It's the reason we count things. There's probably a pay or salary hourly wage that you kind of dream of. I mean, we just celebrated the new year. It's a number. And we're celebrating it. But yeah, I really enjoyed my time on YouTube. It's allowed me to, to meet a lot of people. Um, it's allowed me to meet a lot of people locally to me. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, I want to continue to improve on that. I think my video series coming out of the roastery build out and the cafe build out, uh, as much information as I can put out in that. I think with that and some other things, I should be able to, I don't know, I think I can get there. I think I can, I think I can hit 20. So we're going to shoot for it. It's one of those resolutions like, I, I mean, if, if I don't, yeah, it's whatever, you know? So with that being said, let's open up this little beauty right here. <sighs> this is one of those things like I debated a long time because it's, it's just, it's, it's expensive, you know? And it's like, do you need it? Yes, I, I need it. I, I certainly need it. But do you need it right now? And it's like, I mean, yeah, I, I, I could definitely use it right now. I could learn. I could could educate myself. I could use this time to better prepare myself. And you start, you know, basically convincing yourself that you need it. So you can consult your wife, you know, and like, you know, let's get a second opinion here. And, you know, it doesn't go so well. So you convince harder. Like, you know, it's, it's, we do need this. This is important. This is, it's going to be business. I mean, it's a write-off. It's, it's, you know, you get what I'm saying. Like it's, it's, you argue a lot before you buy something like this. And here we are, you know, and I'm just like, Ooh, I love it. I ain't going to lie to you. Um, I got the Akawa Pro 50 and it's a super cool little machine, dude. I have roasted on a few times. I'm not going to lie. Like I've done about seven or eight batches on it already. And yeah, it's super legit, dude. Let me get it out and show it to you real quick. So yeah, the Kawa Pro 50 does 50 grams, and uh, it's just a cool little thing. Comes with a couple little little containers. Um, yeah, like I said, I've roasted on a couple of times already. Not gonna lie, can't wait to share some videos with it in the future. Uh, we're gonna do a whole. I don't know if I'm gonna do like a series, but I'm definitely gonna do a bunch of videos as far as like cleaning, how to use tutorial review and stuff like that. So that's definitely gonna be coming. Uh, look out for that. And that's pretty much about it, guys. Um, if there's anything you want to know on the Akawa, let me know in the comments below. I'll make sure to try to include that in some of the videos. If there's any questions you have, if there's any anything, just let me know. Just put it down there, and I'll I'll research it. I'll find out for you. If I have to go back to Brad over to Akawa and ask him, I'll ask him. You know. That's about it for me, guys. I hope you all have a wonderful 2022. I hope you go out there and crush it. I hope we go and crush it together. Um, I want to be here as a resource for you. If there's anything you need from me, by all means, hit me up. I, I, I want to see everybody in our little group, you know, kind of succeeding this year. Uh, the last couple ones have been, been, been some doozies, but I think I got some high hopes for this one. And uh, I hope, I hope the best for us. Like anything, like, comment, subscribe, do all that. And just, if you know, just, just go and smash the subscribe button. It doesn't cost a damn thing. And it's, it's, it's cheap and it's free. And it's like, why would you not? You know, just, just go do it. That's pretty much it for me, guys. I'll love y'all and I'll see y'all Friday. I promised that was coffee. I get the whole hand dirty. It's an injury to never breathe, make a body sturdy.